We've been in our home a little over three years now and it was a new build construction. So it's funny how I still feel like there's lots of spaces in my home that don't have our personal touch to them. So I wanted to show you the things that I'm creating to kind of share with y'all how easy it can be to decorate and make beautiful things for your home. This is also my first time participating in the third Thursday Thrift Flip. I hope I got the name right. <laughs> that is hosted by my friend Tammy from The Rest of Willow, Elizabeth from Southern G More Gals, and this month's co-host is Marika from Marika's Creations. I'm making a sign for my living room and I'm really excited to show y'all. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. Here we are in my craft room. Hi everybody. And this is the piece that I'm gonna make over. It's gonna go over the um, love seat that I have in the living room. And so I'm gonna paint the inside and put some vinyl letters on there. And it's gonna turn out super cute. But first I have to wipe it all down because it has been sitting in my garage for probably three years. <laughs> So this was a really pretty painting. We had it in our living room at our old house. And I'm trying to see, it's not really textured or anything. It's just, it's just flat, but it's shiny. So I don't know if I need to do anything else to it. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of quick, super quick research and see what I need to do. It's not a famous painting. It's not like a, oh my gosh, she's painting over a Van Gogh. It's not like that. It's, it was from Hobby Lobby, y'all calm down. I had to splice the decal into pieces so it could print out as it was larger than the largest mat size that I had. And oh, hello, Captain. <laughs> Thank you for inspecting the process. I am using the Cricut Air Explorer 2 and it works wonderfully with the majority of the projects that I do. And here I am just weeding the decal and it weeded pretty easily. This store has a decent selection of painting supplies. But for this project, I'll be using a paint set like this one, and it comes with a brush, a pair of gloves, a tray, and a removable sponge roller. Instead of taping off, which would take a lot of time, honestly, and waste quite a bit of tape, I thought I'd just start out by taking a paintbrush and kind of cutting in, which is kind of like edging around the painting. We are using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramat Paint in the color Linen. Okay, what's the trick, Mr. Har, in, in getting it? painting with a sponge roller. Any tricks or tips? No, just... Uh, Try to apply even pressure? Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe the, maybe the sponge roller brush from Dollar Tree ain't the best, but you know, it's what we got right now. Okay, so one thing I'm already noticing about using the Dollar Tree sponge, and who knows, I may do it with the other sponge too, but you can see obvious lines where the paint is not getting. I kind of thought we'd have to do at least two coats, but right now it kind of feels like 12 coats. I don't know. He just got right there. He just, that's not my mistake. We're gonna try to get that spot off. Hey socks, right there, brother. But now. When you were doing it, mm -hmm. you were pushing all the paint off of it. You were pr pushing down too hard. Okay. So you just, all you're doing is lightly spreading it even. Okay. And then. I mean, it's looking nicer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Especially from a distance, you're not like. Here's what it looks like up close. So it does have a texture to it, but I'm hoping and praying that the decal that I'm gonna put on, that doesn't mess it up. So I've got um, the decal here. And the decal was like way too large and I, I have a Cricut Air Explore 2. So it only cuts like up to 24 inches, I think it cuts. And so like on the biggest mat and I had to chop it up. And so when it comes time for us to put it down, I am, first of all, I'm going to be using my um, Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape 
because that really is one of the lighter grip transfer tapes and hopefully it won't pull up any paint or anything like that. And then second of all, I'm gonna have Marvin help me to make sure everything is lined up because y'all know I measure with my heart. <laughs> and uh, I want this to, to be closer to being spot on as possible. Also real life dirty dishes. Um, in our Dallas, I was gonna say Dallas Times Herald. That's our old paper. Anyway, this is Dallas Morning News. This is in a puzzle book. It's got like crosswords, Sudoku, and all kinds of puzzles like that. We always say this for my dad. So if my mom and dad are watching, hi mom and dad, I love you. Also something to note, this is plastic. It's not wood. So yeah, we're trying to get in close and was that not working? Well, the roller is dry. Oh, of course. No rolling the paint off of it. Okay, take two. We're taking that scraper tool that you can get from Dollar Tree. Man, this is practically an entire Dollar Tree product uh, project. Anyways, we're, he's putting the scraper there so you can get close to the edge without messing up the little canvas surround thing. And yeah, it's y'all, it's looking really good. I can see some spots that we need to do a second coat on, but overall, it's doing really good. Okay, here's how it looks today or this morning. Oh, we're having something in the crock pot for dinner. Anyway, um, there's several splotchy parts, so we're gonna need to do a second coat, which means I'm gonna need to buy another can um, of this Rosoleum Chalked Ultimate Paint in the color Linen White. He put another coat on it for me and I think it looks so good. Now he's just gonna have to help me with the decal stuff. And the reason he has to help me is because y'all know I measure with my heart and I want it to be, um, I guess more in line, <laughs> better, <laughs> more accurately spaced. Okay, we're making the huge sign. We're trying to do the letters here. And again, I've got Marvin helping because he is amazing at measuring. I am not a measure with Marvin. So um, we're gonna put these, the, the decals, onto this Expressions Vinyl, you can't really see it very well, but it's Expressions Vinyl Paper Transfer Tape. And the trick is you've gotta put each line on there, but you've gotta put them all level, or we'll have to cut them. Anyway, we're gonna figure it out what we're gonna do I'll try to film some of this. It's just tedious work, but kind of want you to see it too. So anyway, stay tuned. Great minds thinking. I'm trying to figure out. Oh, every two, two squares is an inch. Every two squares is an inch. So on my phone, I have how it laid out how I wanted it to be on this um, frame thing, so canvas. It's not even an inch. Not even an inch. Well, there is one full square. Oh, but it's two squares is an inch. Yeah, see? Yeah. This is why I need him to do the math. <laughs> I told y'all. I, <laughs> I, I'm not good at measuring. It's my toxic trait. So each of the lines, or stanzas of the lyric, is it a stanza? I don't know. Um, I can't remember from my band days. But anyway, between each line, the, the lines are not all the same length. So we're having to measure like each line, find the center, make sure it's centered-ish. You know, I'm not trying to be a perfectionist about this or anything like that, but, <coughs> but I do like it closer um, and he can help me. So um, yeah, and, and there's already been a little bit of tension about how to do this because I don't, I'm not a math person, he is. And um, so he's, he's helping me and I appreciate it. Okay. So we have decided to kind of make the placement based on the top letter like if there's an F or an L or a D the top part of that letter um, that's what we're kind of lining things up against and then putting approximately one inch in between here's gonna be the real test because I've not used paper transfer tape on a painting that we painted with a sponge roller. So we'll see. If any paint comes up, then we'll just tear our hair out and yeah, I don't know. 
It worked, you guys. The paper transfer tape worked beautifully. Thank you, Expressions Vinyl, for, you didn't sponsor this video, but thank you for making a great product. So this is what the paper transfer tape looks like. It's not completely translucent, but it's also not opaque. And it's not super sticky, so um, when you're pulling back, sometimes the letters don't all lift. So you just try to be careful with it and go slow enough so that if something is not pulling off correctly, you can go back and fix it. <laughs> it looks really good. You did good, honey. <laughs> he did good, y'all. <laughs> you did real good. Okay, me popping back in here for just a minute because um, this is gonna take us a while. Uh, probably another 20, 30 minutes to paint. But we're getting our rhythm down. Right? We'll be longer than that. And we, we, got, we got a rhythm down. We know how to do this. It's gonna be great. So this is, um, I don't really wanna show you the whole thing, but hold on. You're gonna guess what it is, but man, it is looking so good. And Marvin did make some lines. I don't know if you can kind of see those lines. He made some lines to kind of give us a guide. We can either try to erase them or paint over them if we need to, if it doesn't erase well. But look at my, he's like my cricket helper here. You doing so good, baby. And it's turning out awesome. We're in the home stretch and just about an hour past my anticipated end time. <laughs> Marvin said we wouldn't be done, but I was hopeful. And now we're just trying to figure out this last little part. All right, everybody. Yeah, two hours later. I thought it was only gonna take us like 30 minutes, but anyways, there's the hero of the day. This is how it turned out. I am gonna be hanging it up with Marvin's help, of course, um, over here where that sign is. And that sign is gonna go, try not to get too fast. That looks so good. It's gonna go over there. Anyways, turned out fantastic. Thanks to Marvin and his mathematical expertise and yeah, turned out awesome. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I have a special ending, so stay tuned. Don't, don't go away just yet. If you wanna follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House, but just don't follow me in real life though. Because, because that's, that's creepy. creepy. Bye.